Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use InShot video editing tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our data software just under this video. So let's get started. Now in this case, the first thing we need to do here is we need to install the InShot mobile app. In this case, I've already installed it. Let's go ahead and open it up. And from here, since we want to basically edit the video in InShot, we want to choose the video option there. Now from here, I actually created a previous video here, but in this case, we'll be using a new video. Let's go ahead and click on new. Now from here, we need to choose a video that we want to edit. So for example, maybe I want to edit one of the videos here. So maybe I want to edit this video here. Let's go ahead and choose this one. And from here, let's go ahead and choose another video here. So for example, maybe I want to use this video here. In this case, let's go ahead and click on the check at the bottom right of your screen. And from here, that would actually add those video into your project here. Now, in this case, what are your basic functionalities here? So at the bottom center of your screen, in this case, you should be able to see all the videos that you have. So in this case, if you actually, so if you try to pinch your video that you see at the bottom center here, you should be able to see a greater view of your timeline. Now in this case, this will have you, all. Oh, this will enable you to see all the videos I have, or if you want to uh, basically view a specific section further, you could just basically pinch out for you to zoom in on a specific clip or section of your video, as you can see right now. Now in this case, that's how you view your timeline. Now, what are the other things that you could do here? Well, first thing here is you could actually adjust your canvas. Your canvas here is the total size of your video. So if you choose canvas at the left side here, you have the following options. So you have fit, so this will fit, uh, fit our whole video, but you could choose the one by one, which is the Instagram format. We have four by five, which is still Instagram. We also have a nine by 16 a video. We also have the nine by 16 for TikTok and a lot more. So in this case, you could just choose whatever format that you want to use here. So for this example, maybe I want to create a Instagram video here. Let's go ahead and choose this one. And also you could, you have the option to uh, basically uh, resize the video as you can see right now. So you'll be able to uh, zoom in, zoom out on that specific video. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on the apply option here. And from here, it should redirect you to another page here. As you can see, we could do this. Let's go ahead and click on this one. Let's click on Canvas as well. And you could basically start the zoom process as well, or you could just make it fit. But in this case, I want to make sure that it only fits this way. Let's go ahead and click on Apply. Now, in this case, uh, that's how you choose your canvas. Now, what about music? So in this case, just choose music. Now, from here, you have three options. So if you want to record a voice for your video, you could choose the record here and you'll be able to record your voice. So in this case, you just need to allow to record video. And from here, just press on the uh, red button that you see at the uh, center of the screen. Or if you want to do a countdown recording, you could go and include that. And from here, uh, you should be able to turn this, on, turn this on or turn this off. Now, if you want to start recording, just press the red button. So one, two, three. Uh, this is a test recording uh, for this video, and if you want to stop that, you can go ahead and do that. Now, in this case, you could basically start applying this if you want to, but if you want to cancel this, just click on the X at the left side or apply this uh, by clicking on the check at the right side. Now, in this case, you also have the effects option here. So, in this case, you have the option to add effects like uh, game, bells, dali, food, vocal, weather. So, for example, let's add a uh, game effect here, and let's just say game over. So in this case, you could just click on use here for you to use that specific voice and that would actually appear on that specific section. In this case, you could just press and hold on it to position it in whatever section here and you should be good. Now, if you want to apply music, just click on music here. And from here, you should be able to apply a music. So in this case, if you have a music on your account, you could go ahead and choose that in my music and yeah. So let's go ahead and click on the apply at the top right here to apply your music. As you can see at the bottom, you should be able to see a pink section that is your music. Now, if you want to add stickers, just click on stickers here and there are going to be multiple formats for stickers. So stickers, uh, you have the option to add stickers. So let's go ahead and add this one. Let's go ahead and add a fire here. By the way, you could reposition your stickers by press, pressing and holding on them and you should be able to reposition them. If you want to resize it, just click on the resize button here and expand it. 
if you want to resize or flip it you could go and click on the flip button here if you want to edit it you could go ahead and click on edit and even change how it's going to be animated in this case if you uh, want to animate at the very top or be removed uh, out by uh, going up again now in this case you could just click on the in or out option and the loop option as well if you want to but in this case if you want to remove that or you don't, you don't want any loop just click on the remove button here so go ahead and apply this one by clicking on the check at the top right again now in this case uh, what are the other options so we also have the text here so by the way if you want to position your sticker again you just need to press and hold in it and it position it as you can see whenever you play this one it should have our specific animation there if you want to add text just click on text here and just type whatever here let's just say hi and as you can see we're now able to add our text now in this case you also have the option to add captions uh, details or doodle if you want to like doodle here will allow you to from name itself allow you to add doodle so for example i want to add a heart here let's go ahead and add do, do, do that and from here we want to position it and from here it's going to now do a doodle here as you can see right now uh, we have a heart here now as you can see this is the heart and yeah so in this case for us to apply that just click on the check at the top right of your screen and that should be applied now we also have the text and effects options here obviously there's going to be a lot of tools that you can use here so i'm just going to uh discuss the other uh essential uh effects here so in this case maybe i want to use the uh, uh option here for let's just say pip so pip allows you to add a video on top of a video so for example maybe i want to add this video here on top of my video and again if you want to position it you could go ahead and position it in whatever way you want by pressing and holding on the clip at the timeline section and from here you could go ahead and click on your clip make it bigger make it smaller if you want to so in this case you could go ahead and do that so in this case let's go ahead and add this one and from here for us apply this one just click on the check at the top right as you can see we now have that specific clip over that specific clip now if you want to cut your, your video here you could choose your pre-cut here so first we have the trim so you could basically add or basically remove the ends or the uh, start of that video but if you want to cut you could you should be able to remove the center of that specific clip but if you choose split here this will actually split your video into multiple parts so for example we want to split on split it in this part just click multi split from here you want to uh, split it again let's go ahead and click on split again and from here you split this again now once you've done that you can just basically click on the check at the top right to apply changes and we now have three versions or three cuts of that video or four cuts here you know, what uh, as you can see right now now in this case we also have the option for split in this case it's a quicker version of free cut so if you want to by the way uh revert your changes you could just click on revert here and that would actually revert your changes that you did on your clip now if you want to remove a specific section here like for example i want to remove this last clip here that we see this could go you could go ahead and just select that and just click on delete and if you want to adjust your volume just click on volume here and you should be able to adjust the volume for that specific clip so depending on what clip that you want to adjust you could go, go ahead and select that and remove the volume itself now if you want to extract the volume you could, you could go uh the audio itself you could go ahead and do that as well or the noise if you want to remove some noise uh, behind your video you could go ahead and do it as well in this case if you want to apply this to all clips just click on the double check at the top left here in this case you could you should be able to apply this to all clips that you have now by the way you also have the background here so if you want to remove the background for your clip so in this case if you choose background here you will be able to basically add a color for your background so let's say you want to have a back a white black a background here also have the speed here if you want to uh, change the speed of your video so make it faster or slower if you want to this is how you do it now also you have the animation here so for example if you want to uh, make it fade when it actually first appear or zoom in if you want to or even slide in if you want to so in this case once you've done that you could go ahead and specify how uh, are your uh, uh section here so in this case let's go ahead and click on the check at the top right once you're done by the way you could choose either in or out so out is going to be the out of the video we have combo we have loop here as well in this case let's go ahead and apply this one now you also have the cut out option here and the crop option now both of these options actually enables you to cut a specific section now crop here would generally just crop your video on a specific uh, section so it will only show that section when you cut your video here 
Now in this case, let's go ahead and revert that. And from here, we also have the cutout. So if you choose cutout here, you have cutout or chroma. So chroma is from the name itself, it's going to uh, remove black sections or choose a color here and you'll be able to remove those. In this case, is going to go back. So maybe I want to use cutout. So cutout is more on the option on removing the background on a specific subject. So this is more dynamic than usual, but this does not work every time. So usually this uh, best works for people or videos that actually has human faces on them because uh, in this case, it's actually built for that. Now we also have masking here. Like for example, if you want to only show a specific section, for example, this section only, you should be able to add a masking around it. Now, this is a, a less a type or less aggressive version of uh, crop. So if you want to use that, you can go ahead and do that as well. Uh, also, we have the option for voice effects. If you want to add effects to your voice, if you want to duplicate your clip, just click on duplicate here. And we also have the option to uh, delete this one, some clip. So I want to delete this one, the uh, one that I actually du duplicated. So yeah, so in this case, we also have the rotate here if you want to rotate your video. So in this case, you can go and just go rotate here. As you can see, I'm able to rotate my video. If you want to flip it, just click on flip. And if you apply this, just click on the apply at the top right. Now, if you want to freeze a specific frame, you could go and click on freeze this one. And it's going to actually freeze that frame and add a frozen uh, section in that specific clip. Now, we also have the reverse option here. If you want to reverse your clip, you can go ahead and do that. And if you want to add ease into your uh, clip, you can go ahead and do that as well. Now, as you can notice at the bottom of your screen, we have like a small dot on our timeline. Well, in this case, that is the transition. So if you want to add transitions to in between your clips, you can go ahead and do that. So for example, I want to add a glitch in between. So in this case, we have the first glitch here. So you could go ahead and do that. So in this case, you can add how long it's going to last, like 0 0.4 or a whole second here. You can go ahead and do that. So in this case, as you can see, we now have our glitch effect. So once we actually play this one, we now have our glitch effect here and that actually pop ups our sticker. And yeah, so in this case, a great thing about uh, Insha here is you could actually uh, manipulate the already existing uh, clips that we have right now. So the, the clips that we have on our channel right now. So since I've chosen the first clip here, let's go ahead and make sure that we are actually there. You could actually zoom in and zoom out into your clip or even uh, rotate them using your hand. So in this case, for you to zoom in, you just need to pinch. If you want to uh, zoom out or zoom in, you need to pinch out. Uh, pinch out. So if you want to zoom in, you need to pinch out and zoom out is going to be you need to pinch. Now, yeah, so you can rotate them if you want to with your hands, which is something really, really cool. Now, once you're done, you can go and click on save at the top right of your screen. And from here, you could choose your format. So the resolution, the frame rates here, and the format itself. So in this case, maybe I want to choose like 60 FPS here and uh, 1080 is pretty good. So in this case, uh, we want to format is MP4, but you could choose a, G, a GIF if you want to. But once you've done that, we could uh, basically start saving it by clicking on save. And that would actually initialize the saving, uh, converting our video into MP4. Now, once it's actually converted, you could share the, them via WhatsApp, Instagram, YouTube, our video, or TikTok if you want to. So in this case, uh, you could go ahead and uh, press the appropriate button here. For example, share this on Facebook if you want to. So yeah, you just need to either share this to your newsfeed, reels, or groups, or story. So yeah, so that's how you use InShot here for beginners uh, to get you started on using the app itself. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.